If you want to pump your body and expand your mind, there's only one place to go. Mind Pump. Mind Pump. With your hosts, Sal Stefano, Adam Schaefer, and Justin Andrews. In this episode of Mind Pump. Oh, Woo, off randomness. The rails. We, let, we actually let... Taylor steer the steer the mind pump vehicle. Today. Yeah, totally random episode. A we nervous. actually if you guys don't like it, make sure you find him on Instagram. Yeah, it's all Taylor's fault. Tell him what an idiot he yeah, is. Yeah, so we just answered. We didn't answer anything actually. We just commented on some uh, current events. Uh, apparently, Harvey Weinstein is a douchebag. Yeah. Uh, there's a new Star Wars trailer out, which Pre- is awesome. President Trump challenges Rex Tillerson to an IQ test. Yeah. Costco launches Why? grocery delivery services to compete with Amazon. Those are the current events we talk about, but we also do a lot of bullshitting in between. And uh, we actually mention mm. on accident one of our sponsors, one of our favorite sponsors ever. On yeah. accident, Thrive Market. <laughs> yeah. It totally was on accident. Yeah. I was talking about macadamia nuts. Talked about they probably we have the ones they want. It. Yeah, they you probably know. won't like the commercial, but hey, you know what? It's real. Yeah, Whatever, you know, man. Keep it real. It here. Came it's, in the conversation. You so. guys wanted organic. This was organic. <laughs> it's about as crunchy organic. Uh, as it gets. So we do mention Thrive Market. We love their products. They sell all non-GMO products, and most of the products are organic. Don't be late to the party. Super. Don't be yeah. that guy or girl who just found out about Costco. You know, like, ten years later, right? Yeah. yeah. Super. Could have been saving money this super, whole time. Super good prices. If you go to thrivemarket.com forward slash mind pump, you'll get some uh, some freebies. I think well, you're gonna get be a, like you get a you get a month for free. First a, of all, a month for free. You mm-hmm. get twenty dollars off $20 your first three your first orders that are yep. over forty nine dollars. Right. And free shipping. Right. All that stuff. So basically, you get a free membership and you get to buy stuff for like twenty five to fifty percent off where you would find it in the grocery stores. Yeah. Uh, also in this episode, um, we talk a little bit about fitness. And I did want to mention one of our bundles I've been talking about uh, recently is our Build Your Butt bundle. We still get people messaging us all the time saying things like, mm. where did Justin get those cakes? Yeah. Like, <laughs> keep saying, He's got like, Build cakes. Your Butt bundle. No, they talk about how they do barbell squats or I do lunges, I do deadlifts, I do hip thrusts, I do all these exercises and my butt still won't respond like the rest of my body. Right. A lot of these are women. A lot of them are talking about being quad dominant. Like my quads really get big when I do squats, but my butt doesn't get big and round. Like what's going on? And really the problem can be boiled down to one thing. Your recruitment pattern isn't ideal and you're just not firing their, your glutes as effectively as you could. Now, keep in mind muscles Uh, are only as good as the signal that you send them, okay? That's the bottom line. If you're not sending them an effective signal, you're not going to get much out of the exercises that you're doing. So what we've done is we've taken MAPS Anabolic and MAPS Aesthetic. Those are both our probably most effective muscle building programs with your MAPS Anabolic being your more foundational one and Aesthetic being more geared towards your competitors. We've combined the two and then we've included a modification specifically designed to teach you how to get your glutes to fire better. So there's new exercises and Mm -hmm. new techniques in there. Once you do them, what's going to happen is you're going to go do your squats and your deadlifts and your lunges with your expert programming, but you're going to all of a sudden feel your glutes work. They're going to respond. Like never before they're going to build. So if this is an area of focus of yours and you want programs surrounding that, the Build Your Butt Bundle is the way to go, you can find this at mindpumpmedia.com. I'm going to say Justin here. That's not Sage, remember? That's Mage. mage. It's Mage, right? With an M? It's Sage for men. Yeah. Sage. <laughs> that it. sounds like a shampoo or something. Yeah. yeah. Sage for men. Sage for men. You know what's funny? It's manly like now because we said so. Think about that for a second. What feminine, what product that's typically advertised to women? Could you repurpose and sell to men? Douche. And say, <laughs> du- <laughs> du- imagine Dove for men. Yeah, male douche. They have so, Dove for men. They have Dove for men, and it's literally called Dove for men. <clears throat> Does men buy it? That was weird English. Yeah, yeah that was <laughs> pH balanced for a man. Do men buy it? Uh, yeah, no, I I think I have some Dove for men. Yeah. Hold on a second. Well, yeah. It used to just be Did for you, women. But hold on, I thought it was just a neutral product. Did you buy it though? No, I didn't. Okay. Yeah. So it's actually Dove for Men is advertised to women who well, are buying for their men. Probably, yeah. No, yeah. I, that's well, probably the strategy there. Yeah. 
It's a smart one. Don't it you makes women, sense. Bu- women control everything. They buy everything. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. they are the consumers, right? They are. Yeah. yeah mo- most women are the ones buying. Smart for, businesses for homes. know that. Mm-hmm. At least that, does that. How does it work in your guys' house? Does your does your wives and girlfriends do most of the shopping and handling the bill stuff? Like who who does that at home? Yeah. Uh, we we go back and forth. I really like shopping, not for like clothes and stuff. Like I hate that. Mm. I like uh, grocery shopping. I, I don't. I hate grocery a lot. shopping. I don't mind. Unless gro- it's Costco. Katrina and I typically go grocery like shopping Costco. together. It's rare that she goes by herself, so I like shopping too. I, you know what? For me, if my attitude on that's changed. Like I used to not like it, but like now that I I care about like being uh, active and moving, and I realize what a difference that makes. Like, so you look at it as an opportunity to like do just, cardio. Just opportunity to move, <laughs> an opportunity to to move my body that like otherwise I'd probably be sedentary at home sitting down. You, you know? like so, prancer step. Have you seen that video with the lady prancing? It's like a fitness craze. No, yeah, man. Prancing is the next fitness craze. Yeah, I, we didn't see that. You coming. didn't see that? Oh, I have to post it. So we it's didn't amazing. Call that. We my, didn't call that. Pump prancer that size. We're pretty good at predicting trends. It's like the new Zumba. Is that what it is? It, 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 honestly, it's just a video. I don't think it's a thing. Oh. Okay. They want it to be a thing. You're trying to, say, to make it a thing. Yeah. I was going to say they have to rename it because yeah. I'm not doing anything called prancing. Prancer size. It just doesn't sound. What does Zumba mean? Come on. It's. Uh, I think they're trying to make it sound Latin. Really? And, and cool in English. Zumba so they sounds, made that word up? Zumba sounds like Zumba's Latin. made up, dude. There's no yeah. there's no they way Zumba was a word. Something? No. I don't Fuck know, no. dude. Let me look. I'm going to look it up right now. It's like the Roomba with a Z. Yeah. It's like if we made up a word for lifting weights, like a class for lifting weights, but what would we call it to make it appealing? Yeah. You know what I mean? It like comes a, 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 a brand 5, name for a fitness program consisting of dance and aerobic exercise routines performed yeah, popular, mainly Latin American music. Yeah, I told you. It's not, uh, there's nothing. Uh, well, there's your prancer right. size. Oh, yes. oh, prancer size. See, here we go. Oh, I've seen this before. Yeah. It's an older. 400,000 views? Well, because yeah. it's ridiculous, dude. Yeah, it is. It's, it's silly as hell. Yeah, so she, I've seen this. She does pl- push play, Doug. She dances. Uh, and um, she looks kind of weird. It, that's uh, the just fun of it. a little bit, yeah. Yeah, fast forward, Doug, to the, just the middle somewhere. Yeah. So we can see what's going on you just here. Gotta see. So there it is. Oh, yeah, those are the <laughs> oh, moves. Oh, shit. That's the moves. That's what I see Adam doing in the grocery store. Her fit's put together right there. Boom. Oh. Boom. Oh, yeah. I do do that. So uh, yeah. Frolicking. That's what I was going to say. That's yeah. frolicking. That's, <laughs> it's a little, that's a hybrid. Frolic yeah. and prance. So, I mean, I see where she's going. Maybe we could do a video like that yeah. where we're doing that. I would totally do that. I feel like this is a style of dancing that I can do. Yeah. Is she older? We we should all do that just down the street. How old she, is she? She looks like she's in her forties. No, she's no, older than that, yeah, dude. Fifties? Yeah. I would even say sixty, man. I, I feel like this video is old she though. She does look old, and it just got re it got resurfaced. But great, people started. Oh sharing. shit, ankle weights on. Oh, wow. oh yeah, dude. Look, oh, look, she's like sixty. And resistance. Oh, watch out. Prancer size. Yeah. Yeah, we need to we need to come up with a workout class. Of some type or trend <laughs> of some type. Hey, yeah. was uh, was Taylor going to come in here and ask us some stuff? What was the deal with no, that? No, he's not doing it because he's going to be on a phone call. But mm. Doug has the, the questions. Douglas. Oh, Doug's going to got handed yeah, off. Yeah, because so what, what, is, what is it? It's trending stuff right now? So it's basically trending topics on Vox. Is that the name of the site? Vice. Vice. Oh. What's Vox? I don't know. Oh, That's another Vox. site. Is it Vox a site? It's like, a, it's like an amp, a guitar Please, amp. Please, God, don't let it be something horrible. <laughs> <laughs> All I can say is uh, Taylor handed me a sheet of paper with some things on it. <laughs> Doug, He's, Doug's not it, comfortable Doug, with this. Doug's like, I do not approve <laughs> of this message. Yeah. I'm not attached I, to this. In other words, don't shoot the messenger. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. They're like that? Oh, Whoa. you know what? What's Taylor doing? What's Vox? Vox oh. is a news site, thank See, God. Uh, so, not oh, Fox, dude. No. Vox? Did I, oh, no, yeah. Did I tell you guys uh, what I ate yesterday, by the way? That's delicious that I just found. What? That's amazing. What? Macadamia nuts that are flavored uh, like like Maui onion flavor, and then they have barbecue flavor. Wow. Macadamia nuts! What? what? Yes! Yes, they actually Where'd took- Where'd you get that? 
at the at uh at, does it defeat the purpose at though, Whole Foods and now foods? Oh. now I'm gonna buy it through Thrive Market because everything's cheaper there. Yeah. But I got it at Whole Foods. Do they yeah. have do they have the flavor at, at Thrive? I'm gonna look it up on Thrive Market. <sighs> Hope so. Dot com. Oh. I'm gonna look it up because <laughs> <laughs> that was an odd. That was a we'll get an email from Thrive Market for that oh, one. Man. Wait a second. Yeah. This is hey. not in the contract. Listen, Thrive hey guys, you're this off is, the rails. This is not in this the is contract. A yeah. This is a freebie. Yeah, Thrive Market. Yeah. yeah. I literally it's was not totally organic. I was not planning on mentioning yeah. you. This is not a sponsored episode. No. It's literally what happened yesterday is I bought Maui onion flavored macadamia nuts because I made the mistake of going to the grocery store while hungry, which always results in me buying random shit. Yes, snacky. And uh, But I bought, uh, I was going to get macadamia nuts and there's only one brand of macadamia nut that I like. The blue ones. Yeah, right, the blue. Maui whatever yeah. brand, right? Mm-hmm. I'm with you on that one. They're, it's the only one that's good. The rest of them are crap. And yeah. Whole Foods The has- Costco one's Almost as good. Costco gets it from them. Oh, that makes a lot of good. sense. Yep. Their Kirkland brand always does that. Yeah. Right? God, Kirkland's so smart. So smart. Who is um, that guy? Uh, huh? Who is that guy, Kirkland? I don't know. Kirk- Who is this Kirk- <laughs> Kirkland, Kirkland Kirk- fellow? This Kirkland guy's a smart guy. Kirkland's a city in Washington. Well, that just... Well, Man. Fuck. Know it all. Cities yeah, can't buy nuts, like, Doug. We can't ever speculate anymore. silly or what? Yeah. Doug's so, that, cities don't uh, buy nuts, Doug. Doug. Doug's Google that, says... He's that kid in class, like, raising his hand. I know. Yeah, I know, I know. Come on, guys. Oh, my God. Speaking of which, funniest moment of the entire trip at the Spartan race. The funniest moment ever. We're sitting at the dinner table. It was that VIP dinner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we're all, you know, going to eat whatever. And then the speaker, like, asks the audience a question. And we were sitting with oh, Josh yeah. Trent from Wellness Force, oh, yeah. one of our good buddies, who I love. We love him. We all love him. He's one of our favorite yeah, guys. Yeah, he's at our table. Come on. He's, he's yeah, at yeah, our yeah. table. Right next to him. And he, like, blurts out the answer, like, Oh, really? well, the answer is blah 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 yeah. in front of the whole group, and then yeah. Justin afterwards goes, "I know things real loud." <laughs> <laughs> Such a dick! What a d- dick in, move in front of the oh. whole crowd. Oh, and he's my friend. He's right next to me. You're like, I know oh, things, yeah. and and the, the worst part was the whole crowd laughed. I couldn't help it, dude. I couldn't help. I'm like, sorry, naturally. I said kiss honestly, ass first. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I, I said, said kiss ass, and then I followed it up right away. Yeah. No, you yeah. went first, Justin. No, it wasn't. No, it was me. Oh, said, yeah, he said. I that. said kiss yeah. ass first, that's and right. then Justin was like right at. I mean, we were right on cue. Right like I you. had it in here, and then you said it, yeah. and then it just triggered. It yeah. was like it's Tourette's. Yeah, that's what I amounted to. <laughs> it was I, I, so, have, I have like a mild form of it. It jo- was so funny. Josh got, I think, a, for a second, got a little bit like you, mother, like a little offended. Like, then he remember who he was with. Then he's yeah. like, "Oh yeah, you guys." So yeah. I just rubbed his back a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I was little, like, "Hey, <laughs> we're, we're still cool, right?" Yeah. You know that it that was just natural react. That's what that for sure took me back to like high school and stuff. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I, I was that guy for sure. That would some some kiss ass would say some shit. I'd be the first one to. Oh yeah. You guys Obviously, just, me too. It would have been followed up with a paperclip in the back of his head, though. For, you guys, yeah. are, you guys <laughs> are such bullies. <laughs> you're like, <laughs> you're like, you're like, you're grown bullies. Yeah, but at the same time, too, I'm Actually, sure. Actually, professor, I would have hung out with him too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I would have, I would have made fun yeah, of him in class, like throw exactly. some at him, and then we'd be yeah. hanging out together. Yeah, so. yeah, just yeah, like yeah. me, I work with you. You guys hang out with me. I feel like there's bully me. I feel like there's you're allowed to do that when yeah. it's like that. I think mean bullying, it's a brotherly, you just pick on somebody just to be an asshole. That's mean. Like, but there's a brotherly way to do it. You know, that's the truth, though. The way that how guys tend to bond is we tend to fuck with each other. It's just what guys do. Yeah. Uh, and you don't see women doing this as much as men. Uh, they get, I think they get offended. Like if a woman yeah. talks shit to her friend, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, ah, oh, you look fat today. Like they'd be pissed off. But like if Adam said that to me, right. <laughs> yeah, I would be so Which, yeah, you happy. Say to me every day. <laughs> Not happy because yeah. I like the comment because I'd still think he's an asshole. I would think it's hilarious. Totally. Yeah. Like, oh, you just call me a fan. You know what I'm saying? Ah, fuck you, man. Yeah. Yeah. That is funny how that works. And then you do the truffle and shuffle. Then, and then we all laugh. Doug, yeah. let's hear let's hear what Taylor gave us. I want to read the first yeah. question. We start with one. Let's see how we can navigate this. Yeah, let's see these. how this works out. Oh, man. Okay, so the New Yorker reports that Harvey Weinstein raped three women. Oh, oh shit. Oh my god. Yeah, this we're is starting out coming strong. with <laughs> Taylor. <laughs> So Dude, the explosive report comes just days after a bombshell New York Times report that Weinstein had paid out settlements to at least eight women over allegations of sexual misconduct. So who is that? I don't even now, know. Harvey is. Weinstein is a American film producer. Oh. Wow. And so he got he got in trouble for for sure for raping three women. Well, and it's, then- it's a, it, they're, they, it, they're accusing him, right? Okay, okay. He hasn't gone to trial or anything like that. But check this out. I just Googled his name, uh, Harvey Weinstein. Gwyneth Paltrow, Angelina Jolie, and others say that he harassed them. Oh, as wow. Well. Oh, oh, wow. And he's a movie producer? Yes. Big one. I mean, oh. this guy is huge. 
Well, pulp, listen, uh, pulp Fiction, Clerks, The Crying Game, Sex Lies, and Videotape, a oh, bunch of other ones. Whoa. So uh, oh, wow. Angelina Jolie, this is a quote from her, I had a bad experience with Harvey Weinstein in my youth and as a result chose to never work with him again and warm, warn others when they did. Hmm. Wow. How and there's other actresses saying shit. How does something like that stay underground for this Come long? Come on, bro. It's Hollywood. Yeah. It's fucking Hollywood. What do you now think? Now we're going to go into that direction. Yeah, but I mean, that's yeah. like... <laughs> it's like yeah, pedophilia and all these rings and oh my God. Oh, what are we dude. talking about? Oh, bro. It's uh, it's Hollywood. If you're yeah. a, Think about it this way. If you're a young actor or actress and you're trying to make it big and you know this shit happens, it's like you, 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 if you say something, you're done. Well, I Your career is done. So I dated a girl that was, mm. you know... Uh, aspired to be famous right like she was she just wanted to be and so bad like whether it be a music video or playboy or any movie acting shit like she was just open to do whatever and i do remember like talking to her a lot about like you know she would you would go to do these like photo and photo shoots like a lot of these guys they offer you know oh yeah i'll do yeah i'll shoot your photos for free and stuff like that and then they're like convincing them to get less and less clothes less and less clothes and the girls get all excited because they're a well-known photographer or a well-known producer and they're convincing him to do this you know potential video that may not even get played or like that yeah. and it's, what they do is they prey on these girls and i'm sure it happens to the guys too but it's probably more common with it girls. happens to girl, yeah, guys too yeah i'm sure it does mm -hmm. right but it's probably more common with with women and because there's a lot of these guys producers videographers photographers that you know prey on these young girls that just want to be famous so bad you know yeah. it's it's really really sad and it's the it's they're always the ones that have like the daddy issues and stuff you know mm. that there's and then they come in and they're like hey you know I'll you just feel you don't feel secure with yourself right you know what i mean with who you are or yourself i had something so i had something kind of happen like that happen to me somebody tried to take advantage of you mm -hmm. really you're so, just now telling us yeah uh -huh. no so i forgot all about it wow it wasn't like it, it wasn't like that bad. Didn't because, go all the way. No, 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 no. no it's it was, just finger. How it, far? <laughs> God, yeah, it's, sorry, sorry, so yeah. bad. I can't help it. Uh, no, I. So you Tourette's, know those, dude. Tourette's. So you guys know those. Uh, see, I don't want to bring it up because now everybody's gonna look it up and it's online. Oh wow! So you guys remember? Of I am. You guys remember those uh, like <laughs> glamour shots yeah. that I did a while ago? <laughs> that the for, that the forum will post every once in a while that are hilarious. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, my so, favorite. Yeah. So they're like shirtless and whatever. There was a photographer photographer friend who wanted to do pictures she offered to do them of me so she took them and I thought it was cool and I'm like cool I'll save these so I can you know show my grandkids when one day which iron ironically now I hope my grandkids never see any of these pictures but anyway so we took these pictures and she said do you mind if I use your pictures to advertise my you know my business what I said yeah no problem so I got a contacted from a photographer who saw my pictures and he's like, hey, listen, I like to shoot for like athletic modeling and stuff like that. He goes, I like your look. I like your build. I want you to come down. Oh, I so, like the, your build. So he goes, I want you to come down and I want to shoot you with some other models. And so I'm like, oh, that's cool. I'm like, fuck, this is kind of cool. Like, I'm, you know, maybe I'll make some money doing some of this stuff. This is fine, whatever. So I said, well, what does it entail? Is it like, he goes, no, it'll be, it'll be uh, uh, tasteful. So I said, okay, that sounds cool. And I said, uh, let me know when so that I can have my, because I was married at the time. I was like, my wife, so I can, my wife can come down because it's be really cool. And he goes, no, you can't bring her. I'm like, what? And he goes, it's just going to be up me, you, and a bunch of other dudes. And we're just going to be having fun, taking pictures and stuff. And we don't need other people. And I got this really fucking creepy vibe from this dude. <laughs> He's like, you don't need to bring her. She'll get in the middle of it. No, 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 no. It's just a bunch of guys horsing around. He started using <laughs> yeah, words. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're going to wrestle a little he bit. He started using yeah. words like She wouldn't like that. Like pillow horsing that. around. Yeah, 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 horsing around in pillow fights. <laughs> yeah. Just some friendly just pillow prancing, fights. Prancing, prancing. Yeah, like, yeah. And so I just, didn't wear a ball game. So I just got this, like, <laughs> yeah. I got this total creepy vibe. I could have. now we're I, on swings. Now, if I was super desperate and that was, like, my career of choice, I might have been like, um, let's just see what it is. Like, what's he talking about? Yeah. Showed up. And then you are in this now in this environment where with all this pressure. You actually went? No. Fuck oh. No. oh. So I had the same thing happen to me when I was fuck. I was only like twenty three or so, and at that time it was like a really popular thing for these um, these companies to come in and prey on male trainers. Oh my and, god! I and, know exactly what you're talking about. Oh yeah. So I got so I and it was crazy. I don't even know how they got my phone number. Uh, they they called me up one day and I totally vividly remember this sitting out on the curb in front of the gym like 
like talking to this guy. I was like, whoa, this dude's going to, they're going to pay me, right? So he calls me up and he's, he says, hey, you know, I just wanted to tell you, and he just kind of gave his background real quick. Uh, you know, oh, I work, I don't even remember the company name or whatever. And he's like, you know, I'm a photographer for them. I'm always searching for talent. You know, we like to look in gyms and find, you know, guys that are fit, this and that. And we're shooting this calendar this coming weekend. And I'm already like savvy to like some of this stuff already. So I'm just like, oh, okay, I know how this works. You want me to do this. Then you want me to pay $800 to get my photos done and have all this professional stuff. Meanwhile, nothing ever happens. Yeah. I just spend $800 on getting professional photos. I'm thinking to myself, that's what's coming next. And I'm like, oh, you know, I'm not really interested in that. I've I've got trainer buddies that have done this before where they spend a bunch of money trying to put a portfolio together, you know, to, to become a model. Or That's the hustle. That. Yeah, and I'm like telling them basically, you know, if Calvin Klein really wants me, they'll come find me, right? So I don't, I don't think that I've got the modeling thing, right? And he's like, no, no, actually this is – a for sure gig. We already seen you and we think that you fit the uh, description perfectly. And uh, it's a two day shoot. It's out. It was going to be out in Santa Cruz area and uh, it paid like three or five thousand dollars. And I was like, oh, shit. OK, I, now you got my attention. Like yeah. now I'm listening. I'm like, OK. And he's asking questions about my person. He's got me on the phone for almost an hour. Because now that I know that I potentially could get paid three grand, five grand, it's just a photo shoot. I'm going to be in a calendar. Now I'm kind of like, oh, this is cool. He's wheeling you in. Oh, totally wheeling me in. <laughs> you know, well, you know, it's important that, you know, when we shoot you, you, you have to have confidence in that. Would you consider yourself a confident man? And uh, yeah, yeah, no, I'm a confident oh, guy. Yeah, yeah, real right. confident. Yeah, and he's just like kind of wheeling me into these and like slowly pulling me in. And I'm like, I'm totally bought into this idea that we're going to go do this photo shoot and I'm going to make three or five grand over a weekend. I'm pumped, fucking pumped. And the questions start getting a little more like, you know, so, you know, are you comfortable with, you know, revealing some skin and having your shirt off? And, you know, I'm like, yeah, I mean, I'm cool with that. I mean, what are we doing? He's like, oh, no, that'd be like, you know, you'd be a volleyball and football, it'd be to <laughs> you know, totally masculine. And yeah, I'm like, yeah, okay, yeah. you know, I'm like, and then he's just like, you know, how, uh, how well endowed are you? That was what? Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was like. Whoa, what size question led up matters. to that? Yeah, yeah, I mean? yeah, no, it was, and he did, he did a really good job of like getting me closer and closer <laughs> to that question. It wasn't like we were just talking, and then all of a sudden he says, "Hey, how big's your dick?" You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like I would have totally been turned off. He'd already wrapped me up for like 45 wow. minutes of asking these questions, <laughs> and it actually seemed like the the next appropriate question. Like, hey, am I confident with myself yeah. being naked and this yeah. and that? And so, anyways, long story short, I did not go out there, and I started to get, you know, after an hour of talking to this guy, come to find out this is like a gay calendar, and I'd have to do like these, you know, gay poses on, on there, which, you know, I wasn't quite comfortable with hmm. uh, doing that for three or five grand. It's interesting. And, and at that time, I could use the three or five grand. I think I just <laughs> sold or just bought my house and had a hefty mortgage and thought like, oh, wow, three yeah. or five grand. And, and, and knowing you, you wouldn't really care if yeah. someone found it. Right. <laughs> I am that. I am it's that. just going to live forever. Because I did. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I, I'm not going to lie. Even after I hung up, I kind of contemplated it for a little bit like, well, you know, like I'm not like, yeah. I, I don't have this like, yeah, like gay phobia or anything people, like that. Yeah. Like I'm comfortable with that. People call me gay all the time. And, and I, paint, I paint my toe nails yeah. like and you don't care if people you know and you're one of the people that you don't give a shit if it's yeah. out there right like if you're, yeah you're yeah yeah no out. yeah i'm sure it's i'm sure it's stuff at worst stuff is floating in me out there on the internet anyways i'm like yeah that's not a big deal but i just couldn't do it dude i couldn't uh I just the the not knowing and committing to it was what the, the scary part like the yeah. not having the details like you know if you just take some shot of me playing volleyball with my shirt off with a bunch of other guys like hey i could do that yeah. but if like <laughs> He's snapping a football naked to me, and I'm <laughs> behind him, you know, playing quarterback. Like that's a little too much for me. Yeah, that's a little yeah. too much for me. Like Go for the it, extra point. Come on, man! Are you ever gonna give me the ball? <laughs> <laughs> like, no, this is all part of it. Okay. Stop. Oh man, what am I doing? Yeah. Stop hiking! <laughs> hut, 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 hut. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's just getting like super excited. Oh, oh god! Oh god! Doug, give, please give that's us another. No, <laughs> I, I, I know. Wait, 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 wait. Justin, no. you never had somebody... What? You never had an experience like that? Where Nobody wanted to rape? Or? No one ever wanted to rape no, you? No, just like on MySpace, right? Uh, you remember the site, MySpace? Like <laughs> yeah, the first dude. one ever? Yeah, right. Uh, so I, I put up like this picture of myself and... Uh, like this is back when I was in the band and I used MySpace because MySpace was the place you go, you know, to, to advertise <laughs> your band you the, where your gigs are and stuff. Is, there, is this where you had the soul patch or whatever? What was that? Yes. <laughs> I had a soul patch and I had like, uh, uh, what do you call that? Like that specific type of hairstyle that's like all greased up and, and back pompadour. Oh, okay. I had a pompadour going like it was looking, <clears throat> looking tight. So anyway, I was wearing this like shirt that was like all Western shit. And, uh, 
like I get I oh, got I all these comments pic- on I know it. A picture that is. Yeah, I got all these comments on it, and uh, I was like, oh, cool, you know, whatever. Like, you know, getting some some you know good ones from girls and whatnot. And then I got this one from this guy, and he, it was like his name was Cobra. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that's all I have to say. His name is Cobra. He just like got out of prison. <laughs> what? Like I looked at his profile and all that stuff, and like he was like describing this whole. And he, anyway, he's like looking fine, bro. You know, <laughs> no, no, and just... like I read it in that voice. You know, yeah, like yeah. it was in my head as I was read. It, I was like, ah, oh! you know. I was like, I just had like like chills go all the way through my body. <laughs> hey, hey and bro. I just like. Yeah, well, remember when we looking fine, bro? <laughs> when we first started Mind Pump, I had the the guy reach out to me for the the Mexico mansion. Remember that? Oh, where you were supposed yeah, to? Yeah, I remember that. They were one. supposed ten, to host the me party. T- ten thousand for that. That was ten thousand dollars for a night in in Mexico at some crazy mansion with all these millionaires, and I, I was to be hosting it, walking around, passing out like champagne and drinks with no shirt on and stuff. And I was like fucking down, dude. Like I'm shirtless, walk around champagne. I don't give a shit like that. I'm, I'm, Ten G's, I'm cool. Yeah, I'm I'm good. I'm comfortable with that. But <laughs> then he led on, later on, like as I'm getting more details and getting closer to doing it, it was like, well, more than likely you're going to be solicited by other men and stuff like that. You know, do you feel comfortable? You have to fight them off. Yeah, yeah. and I'm like, whoa, dude, no, that's not okay. Like. <laughs> oh, they can solicit me all they fucking want, but I'm not gonna do it. Like, oh, well, yeah, it's kind of expected that. You oh do. my god! Yeah, I was like, no, then that's crazy. Ten grand is not enough. I'm more like twelve grand, bro. That's yeah. my- <laughs> <laughs> more like twelve grand, man. Come it's on. gotta be. It's gotta come be. On. Fuck yeah. you, money. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Do come better. On. Yeah, yeah. Come, on. <laughs> come on, come on, uh, Douglas. All yeah. right, the next one is that Trump just challenged Rex Tillerson to an IQ test. After the Secretary of State reportedly called Trump a moron, the president's looking to settle the score. He wants to get so. <laughs> who is that? Who what? is who's, who's that's who's the Secretary of State, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. Mm. It, you know what I find funny about that is how people can be stupid in some ways, but then be brilliant, right. In other ways, right. You know what I'm saying? I think that's I think that's common. I think everybody has that side, right? Some of the most brilliant book smart people I meet are some of the biggest idiots when it comes to common sense. Uh-huh. Yeah. And some of the most street smart motherfuckers I've ever met in my life can't read a book. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, so it's, it. Yeah, I feel like there's a give and take, right? It's, you kind of, you kind of rarely ever, although in politics you tend to get a little bit of both, right? Tim, typically if you've made your way all the way up to Donald Trump status, you know, or Obama status, you're yeah. probably pretty, you're probably pretty You just sad. thought that like that was part of the campaigning and all that, but then this is like, going into like him still being in office and going with these weird feuds with like people through like <laughs> social media. It's like, what the fuck? There's so many other things to do. Well, I think that's part of the brilliance. Yeah. I think, I think that's where people miss. So I also think it's really hilarious when people call him stupid because, you know, and I was not an Obama fan, you know, and I'm not much more of a Trump fan, but n- would, I would never think that any president of the United States is stupid. And I think you're stupid. That's true. You're yeah. stupid and ignorant to say something that they're stupid because they say something that doesn't align with your values or your morals or your beliefs, whatever. To get into that position, the amount of. Uh, dude, you, it's not like anybody can do that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, not just any smart guy could even do that, well, or smart woman can do that. Like, well, a lot of times too, politicians will say things, and you think to yourself, like, how can you be that big of an idiot? Uh, when, but w- if you start to realize that all they're trying to do is manipulate people, right. then yeah. you realize that they're actually very intelligent. Right. What do you? How do you know that wasn't part of the idea? It's not well, him being stupid. Yeah. It's the fact that you're fucking talking about it on your feed now that has ten thousand people paying attention to it, and that was probably the desired I'm outcome. A, you're the yeah. moron for yeah. falling into the trap and thinking that it was it wasn't mm-hmm. calculated. Yeah. yeah. I mean, how much self confidence? Like, talk about the old, the epitome of having to have like self confidence to get to a position like that. Like president of the United States of America, like, holy shit, like you better believe in your shit, you right. know? So it's like it, it creates like egomaniacs, you know, like every one of them. But you know, some of them have done benevolent things, but it's such a, a weird position to like ask somebody to to, you know, like I, I feel like it's just it's a very, very tough You have to have a certain degree of narcissism, like a right. high degree I should say of narcissism. Cause imagine this right now. It's like someone <laughs> Coming to be like, hey, would you like to lead? Like, the I'm free just gonna world? lead everybody. Yeah, the like, free yeah, world. Come on, guys. Oh. I got this. You're gonna give speeches, and everyone's gonna like hang on every word you say. And you know, I'm cool. 
Yeah. I don't think I can do that. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah no, I, I just, I think it's funny all the, all the, how many people spend their day debating and talking about this, like, and, and making a big deal about it. I like, wish you would stop tweeting for fuck's sake. Well, yeah. again, you know, again, though, that's, <laughs> stop it. That's half, stop. that's half the strategy. And you got to know that, right? Yeah, you got to yeah. know that. You know, I mean, right now, Twitter, when it comes to Twitter, that's one of the best ways that you can create, stir up controversy, get people to share well, if, and if talk you, about. If, I mean, mm. the fucking news now reports on Twitter. I, I mean, know. That's, so, yeah. it, that blows my point. mind. Did you see what happened with Dan Bilzerian? So, you know, that video he posted. Oh, the one, yeah, that he showed. Did you see the, the pushback he got? No. no. Why, 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 Bro, people... Fox News. Okay, this is, what, this, is what, this is what the country we live in now, you guys. Okay, Dan Bilzerian has done nothing in his life to like really make people fucking talk about him on Fox News, other than the fact that he's a social media celebrity, sure. right? And Fox News reported on him yesterday because uh, some, I forget, and I'm going to fuck it up so I don't want to say their name. Somebody uh, actually called him out about the video, and it was like some a Medal of Honor guy mm. and... You know, war vet, and he he called out Dan for being a pussy and and running, and then asking for a gun and thinking he'd go back, and like they're like basically saying like you know that's like the dumbest thing ever is to go leave a leave a a place of war and terror like that to go get a weapon to go return back. That's how you get yourself killed. And what are you talking about credentials for a gun? Like everybody was just like slamming him, and the news is reporting on it right now. It's insane. The to news know. is now reporting on gossip. On, and, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Fox News was talking about uh, Dan so Bilzerian. Irritating. It's like, what the fuck? Where are we at right now that somebody who literally built a a, a fake fucking celebrity status mm -hmm. by becoming popular on social media by posting cool pictures of private jets and ass and, and tits chicks. and guns. Yeah. All the cool shit that we all like to right. I mean, I follow. Well, you know, yeah, yeah. I follow. Yeah. I'm a fan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I follow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you, uh, I wouldn't be reporting on it. No, you know it's saying? not like, newsworthy. God, man. I'm uh, like, wow. Bro, they're on, news channels are on 24 hours a day. They got to find shit to well, talk that, about. Well, I mean, you got to think yeah. like from behind the scenes, right, as a, uh, you know, what do you, whatever you call the... The, the general manager of the, the newsroom or whatever has got has got to be like, you know, oh, fuck, you know, things are trending down. Nobody's watching the news anymore. People are just yeah. on Twitter and also like that. We better start reporting yeah. on social media now. And that's like you probably have they probably have wouldn't a be a great day if Ted talks just took over <coughs> news instead. Oh, like, man. You know what I mean? Like all these like hopeful people out there like doing Dude, like, really impactful things. I found a great YouTube page called Crash Course. Have you guys seen this? No. Mm. So it's Crash Course, and it's this fucking dude. He's so smart, uh, but he presents things in such a, a good and entertaining way. And it's Crash Course in whatever topic you pick. So it could be Crash Course on uh, the Romans, Crash Course on the Industrial Revolution, Crash Course on... Oh, that's rad. How long are they? They're short. They're like 10 minutes long. Okay. They're fucking great. He flies through, so you, you got to process quick, but it's they're really entertaining, and the way they do the videos oh, is so Oh, you know smart. what? I've seen some of his videos before. Dude, brilliant He's, videos. He, I've seen some of his like science videos and stuff like that, too. He brilliant does, videos. Yeah, 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 no, they're they're really... Uh, YouTube... And he's, he, they're animated, so he uses... But like, what, I'm, what I want you guys... Great. But so from a business standpoint... Because, you know, we're building our YouTube channel. Right. Mm -hmm. And we want it to be better than anybody's in our world, in our sphere. These channels are leading the way. These, like, Crash Course and the Khan Academy and Learn Liberty, which is another uh, cor uh, another site that I like to watch. Uh, all, if you watch their videos, they're produced so well and so intelligently and smart the way they do them. Uh, I mean, I, I, YouTube is going to YouTube's gonna kill everybody. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, that's great. I mean, yeah. they're, they're, the quality now is like what you would get on TV. Yeah. Oh, you know why YouTube's going to access to that information? You know why YouTube's going to kill everybody? Hmm. When's the last time you watched something that aired on television that you went to watch and you watched the commercials? <laughs> you don't. You yeah. fast forward, right? Oh, uh, it makes me angry. YouTube, you're forced to watch commercials. Right. They're going to get all the advertising money. Mm. The, t the TVs ain't going to get shit because everybody, you know, uh, records now uh, through their DVR. At least until we we come out with a TiVo version of YouTube. Mm. Where we can record it and then cut it out? Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Why wouldn't that happen? Wow. Yeah. Why wouldn't that eventually happen? You, you know, know what? what? Ooh, of course That's a great business. You know what? I'm You're welcome. already being built. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You just gave away our idea, you <laughs> yeah, fucker. We don't, have, we don't have time for that one. We have Dude, other, we, we're not, we can't do tech. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We've learned our lesson. Yeah, we give away right. two ideas. Every other day diet and that one. Those two things. <laughs> every day diet. Every, yeah, every day other day diet. diet. That's yeah. right. You know how people message I know that let you know that it already exists. Oh, really? You guys message messages. That already exists. Like, listen, Sal. I've been doing that. 
Yeah. 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 It already it really works for me. In different ways, but the way I can say it, yeah. it's different. So we could just give Robert. Yeah. What else is on that list there, Douglas? Oh. Breaking down the glorious new Star Wars, The Last Jedi trailer. Oh, wow. This is all yeah, right. just right here. This so is a great Ro- question. There's Ray and Luke, yeah. Kylo's anger problems, yeah. a bunch of space battles, and a glorious shot of the late Carrie Fisher. Yeah. What do you have to say about that? Yeah, it was interesting. I was like compelled. I, you know, you guys haven't seen it yet, right? The, the new tra- trailer? The trailer's out. Yeah, the new one. Yeah. Yeah. No, I haven't seen the new. new I, I saw. Yeah. I saw the tail end of it. I was on it, it play the first time just the other day on TV. Yeah, it made me excited. I mean, it's, can we watch it's, it? It's gritty. Sure. It's it's got this darkness to it. Because all right, let's watch it. And if it's too long, Doug, you can edit this little silent part out. Cause yeah, because you have it. nothing better to do, Doug. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I want to turn. <laughs> Damn, dude. Yeah, bro. Yeah, look at who she's talking to. Oh. What? Oh, wow. So, so you can see, like, the, the nerd webs went crazy, wow. right? Wow. You know what I think? <clears throat> oh, let's hear it. I think, uh, what's her name? The girl? Ray. Ray. I think Ray is the new, He's she's the new type of, she's not a Jedi because the yeah. Jedi was good. Yeah. She's the new archetype. Right? Yeah. The good. And then there's the dark yeah. side. So there's, we, the, there's the, the, half, the good yeah. side, the bad side. She's in the middle. That's why yeah. she wears gray. Yeah. Well, I thought that she's both. Wasn't, well, that's what I wasn't said the Luke, whole time. Wasn't Luke kind of in both? Wasn't he kind of in both too? No. Well, no, 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 he was Luke, always Luke was a Jedi. He was trying, yeah, he, he was trying to save his dad and bring him back to the, to the light. Mm-hmm. But, uh, the thing with Ray is like, she was so powerful. Like it, it like scared him. So either, He's referencing like what happened with Kylo Ren when he was training him, uh-huh. or I'm thinking like maybe even further back, like it, it was like, like the Vader or or the Empire or, or the Emperor, you know, because it was like it's such raw power. It's like she's not pulling just from uh, the light, you know, the 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 good side. She's yeah, she's pulling, you know, from from Sith. So it, it is. It I think it's a lot of that. It's like the struggle of you know, balance. So what, what it all means. So I think this movie is really going to go into to the dogma of what Jedi, you know, the religion of it is. Oh, wow. And then like, you know, what that means. And that's why he's, he's like, like the Jedi is no more. Like he wants it to be done and whatever that means, you know, like why? Like, so what obviously it hasn't been working. And then now, well, now what does it look like? You know, Dude, it, now, okay. So does your nerdy brain go like, is this, is this, um, What's his name? Who wrote it? I can't think of his name right now. Uh, uh, Lucas. Lucas, right? If is this his way of uh, presenting to us like what what he sees right now? In well, life? I that- I think he might be involved, but I don't think he he wrote any of the new ones. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. So this is mainly Disney bringing in writers. I think I and think a new director. Yeah, and I think in Disney, by the way. But yeah, I, I think mean, you're right. They are. They do an incredible job with their writing. They yeah. do such a good job. They've proven themselves time the and best, time again. Bro. But I think the best. I think what they're doing is they're setting themselves up for a completely new yeah. franchise well, that's going to go in so many different ways. I completely agree with that that sentiment though because it the the original one was like it, you could see it as a reflection of the time of right. like you know yeah the good and evil industrial complex right. you know coming in and fucking everything up and taking over and. You know, it's about peace and harmony. And, you know, now it's like, well, what is good? What is, you know, what is not good? Like, we, what everybody in power we see is fucked up, right. you know? And, like, it's this sort of outlash to, to us, like, seeing the world with a, a new lens. Like, I don't know. I feel like a lot more people are jaded these days. So it does. I feel like it is kind of, like, going to, you know, go into that. Are you going to watch it by yourself like last time? <laughs> uh I don't know, man. I, I like to go with with the friends. Do you go you go opening day. I will go by myself. You at go some opening point. day, right? Yeah. And then what do you you, you go by so opening day it's gotta be packed, but you show up early. <laughs> yeah. In his you're costume. all prepared. <laughs> In costume. Yeah. Do you wear anything? <laughs> I mean, I'll wear like a shirt, bro. He wore like I'm rapid. What did you wear last time? I'll the, probably do it this time, bro. dude. If you guys listen, if you guys are down, <laughs> like I will seriously, I'll dress up as like you know Kylo Ren or somebody. You know what I mean, dude? We'll, can we'll we rock it? Can we make it a thing? I would be amazing. Can I'd we be, dress I, up and have Taylor? I would us? like December, love you guys more as December, people. December fifteenth. Yeah. December fifteenth. I mean, I'm game. Let's wear, we should, ro- we let's should, wear robes. But is it out yeah. midnight? Maybe we can go to a midnight showing. I yeah. call Vader. That's who I want to be. All right. Doug, you be... Cool. Uh, who do you want to be, Doug? Yoda. 
<laughs> yes. Oh, that's a good call, yeah, that, dude. Yeah. yeah. Who are you, you going to be, Sal? Who do you think I'm going to be, bro? Come on. Uh, what's her name? Layla? <laughs> yeah. Or Ray? Yeah. yeah. Come on. yeah. <laughs> I'm a Skywalker, dude. Lando? Yeah. Lando? That'd be awesome. If I I'll be Lando. Han and you be Lando. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm Skywalker, bro. You could do a hand. Wow. I'm Skywalker because... <laughs> Oh, you're Skywalker. Like, yeah, really? you know, yeah. Like the, the, the Justin. Most, what are the, the what are powerful? the numbers? What are what are we seeing uh, statistically as far as like views and and box office? Like, how is it doing in comparison to the original? Mm. Oh, you know? I mean, it's smashing it just because of the um, you know the influx of people watching movies now. Like that whole industry changed for a bit. I think it's it's actually slowing down now. If I'm not mistaken, like Hollywood numbers versus yep. because of what's happened with uh, video games and them being and so digital. entertaining and digital, yeah, content. S- and speaking of which, my I have a friend who has something called an Amazon Fire Stick. Do you guys know what these are? Mm-hmm. Yes, they and they're suck. and it's mm-hmm. it's jailbroken. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And what's that? Yeah, I, I have. We have one. It sucks. You get free streaming or whatever, but yeah, it's like all dude. Everybody, choppy. everybody was like pr- pressing me on it like for some time because my our buddy Jay has it and my sister and her husband have it. So what does it mean? Okay, all, so all so it, what's it supposed it, to do and what does it mean? Dude, when you can watch broken? UFC fights for free. All the UFC fights that we pay. So for. So it's like the black box when we were kids. Yes, exactly. Just okay. like that, and yeah. just like the black box totally. when we were kids. The quality of it compared to what it is when you pay for the streaming is totally different. Here's the thing. If you're somebody who is about is saving saving money and yeah. you care more about saving money and just being able to experience what everybody else can experience. You're a cheap ass. This is beautiful for you. Yeah. If you're someone like me who- So I, you tried it what, I, it. what does it do? Like you just, you, you can see movies that are yes, supposed to be paid everything, for you. Every, stuff in the theaters. Oh, stuff that's in the theater? Yeah. How do they get them on there? It's, it's all- Bootlegger yeah, people. Yeah, it's all bootlegged yeah. shit. And so what is it? Just being able to share between yes, people? Yes, that's all it is. Yeah. It's all it really is, right? Now, and and of course- God, it's, That's got to kill Hollywood it's, too. It's oh. better today like than Napster. what it was 10 years ago or back when you're talking about back black box days for us. But it's nowhere near the same quality. And I know some of them, oh, yes, you can watch. Some of them are streamed in really, really good high def, but not all of them. And How the do you sh- find the videos? Stu- Is not, it just like yeah, a channel? It's categorized really easy. It's wow. very, yeah, it's super yeah. easy to search. Yeah. It's now, very- what does it mean to be jailbroken? Because you're not you, normally you wouldn't be able to do that with the Amazon st- Fire Stick. So the Amazon Fire Stick doesn't allow you to get the pay per view and all the other things that are that would be considered illegal oh. for free. Mm-hmm. You know, the, so jailbroken is, but it's everybody. I mean, you can Google. Dude, it everybody's it. fucked. Hollywood is fucked. I know. They're screwed. You can't it's, protect content. As like the, te- that as the technology gets better, it's only going to be anything that as can, good. Anything that can be free will be free. I mean, we're heading that we're yeah. heading that direction. The only the only thing is you're still going to get people like myself who I don't mind paying a premium to get to see it on, you know, the the best quality, the best sound on the TV that I paid extra money to get the best sound. And, you know I'm what just saying? thinking, like, I'm yeah. just thinking as technology gets micro markets out there. Yeah. The right. And, and I'm thinking as technology gets better, that's going to be, that's going to happen also. You know what I mean? Because remember how like, uh, like, like, uh, like YouTube, for example, quality of the video is not as good, but now YouTube is starting to get real yeah. good. Yeah, or, Vimeo was like uh, th- that. They came out of that, right? Because mm-hmm. they were doing all the high def stuff, and it was like you know premium quality, and all the artists were drawn to that. But I think it's a matter of I time. Think YouTube's already like like on par with it. They're them. all fucked. The whole model of how you make money uh, with providing content and stuff these days is so changing. Mm-hmm. Well, it's I so think changing. I think it'll be the way these companies will will stay afloat and alive is like where we're heading with VR. I think the ability to this whole you know, first person where I think I think our movie experience in ten years is going to be completely different. I think you'll go to yeah. a movie, and oh. and you'll be like it'll be VR style, but not only just virtual reality, but then you can change perspectives. Like Dude, it'll be it, shot. Okay. It'll be shot. And what is what dimension is wow. that? If it's if you can see like that, if it's video like that, it's, it's three dimensions. Yeah. No. If it, if it allows, like, let's say you are if we're all like imagine all of us. Oh, in the you movie can go theater. first person, third person. Yes, yeah, anything yeah, yeah, you want. Person. Like you can go in and out of it, right? Like, oh, I want to see what it's like. No, I was going to tell you like. Uh, they're actually I don't know if I talked about this or not but like I was talking to somebody about the future of like movies and all that kind of stuff with VR and everything and they're like yeah there's actually like a place I think it's Arizona that um, it has like an actual warehouse so it's an entire warehouse that's completely scanned and mapped so not only is it just like virtual reality but it's tangible virtual reality so it's like augmented but so what they're going to do is like play a movie Right. So the movie's going on, but you're actually walking through the door 
and you're going up the stairs, you're opening stuff. Like it's it's all interactive at the same oh, time. Wow. It's fucking crazy. That's, see, that's how I think. It's, you're gonna just like how I think sports are gonna go this way. I think that you know Monday night football last night. I'm watching it and I'm thinking I can't. I'm like, dude, real soon here. I'm going to be able to put my VR goggles on and look at like what it's like from Adrian Peterson's perspective running the ball. You Especially know? after a big play. Right. Then people yeah. are going to go through and be like, oh, what did it look like when he threw yeah. the ball? What did it look like when he caught uh, the ball? Right. Yeah. It's going to be... It's going to be... Cr- eventually, you learn all those skills just by jacking it right in your brain. Mm-hmm. So that's... And, and that will be Matrix. a service that you'll have to pay, all that stuff, right? So that, that will be... And they won't be able to, uh, you know, pirate that, right? That won't be... You'll have to be tapped into that... Stream, in yeah, in order yeah. to get it right. So I think, it's, and that's why this is the natural progression. Of what we're seeing, all the stuff yeah. that's just like basic, recorded, pre-recorded. People are stealing it, yeah. putting it in the internet. Like that's well, business. That's the thing is just organizing all that and like you know putting it as you know in whatever form like the consumer needs. That's going to create just new you know definition of business. Right. So business is just going to evolve to something else. Right. It's not going to go away. Mm. Right. Do we have any more questions, Doug? Well, yeah, one more headline that Taylor included was that <laughs> Costco launches grocery delivery program to compete with Amazon. Oh, oh I see. Shit. Do or die, huh? You know what I like about what's going on right now? Competition. Yes, the, yeah. co- the competition. Great for consumers. Competition is so good for consumers because it results in more efficiency, better products, or I should say yeah, products, products that meet what the demand is calling for. And what I like about it, what's going on right now, is that consumers are starting to demand for... Convenience is always there. It's always a top demand, right? People always want convenience. So delivery is always going to be a thing, especially if you can deliver it faster. It's three Cs, bro. But the, the, the other one that I like in regards to food is consumers are starting to demand better sourcing and better quality with their products. Um, and you can see this because the amount of products that are available now that advertise uh, non-GMO, organic, you know, well-sourced, uh, you know, fair trade certified, like all these different things is exploding. You know how hard it was to find products before like that? Now it's yeah. everywhere. Well, this is why we were so, I mean, all of us were so excited about Thrive Market when we partnered up with them because you yeah. can just, they're, they're forward thinking. You can see uh, how far ahead they are. Mm-hmm. I really think that their their direct competitor will be Amazon. Like I think they're gearing up to be to handle what Amazon is going to be doing. I mean, what they're already doing and then where they're going, like with their go stores and then the, the purchase of Whole Foods. You got to think that that's, and then you see Costco make this big well, move. Well, so- you got to be thinking that this is Amazon's big push to well, to be able to same day get you groceries well, and stuff. Costco's got the warehouses. They've got the, the locations, right? So, mm. and they've got money. But, you know, Amazon had this interesting model where they didn't mind losing money yeah. by sh- if they, if it meant that they would take out their if competitors they, exactly if they they com- completely take over that market mm-hmm. so yeah the, i mean you see them do that with the shipping industry and like how they just completely obliterated everybody else because they were willing to take the hit right. for a couple years and because they knew once they got everybody it was for good right? yes because a big way that you make money one of the, the one of the strategies, the main strategies that grocery stores and chains make money is through, uh, because the margins are so small. People don't realize this, but the margins on selling, you know, retailing groceries is so small that really the only way to make money is to really leverage yourself with volume and size and whatever. Then you can start to make a little bit more. Mm-hmm. So bigger for these guys and and more exposure, more people is is better in many different ways. One of the ways is you just can't compete when you're small. Right. Yeah. So Amazon, like their old model, like the model that they've always followed, uh, you know what they're doing now, even with Whole Foods, how they're trying to low prices, lower prices. I think they're thinking we don't give a shit if we lose money. Yeah. We want to destroy everybody. Then we will have the volume to be able to make money on these. You think Walmart has taken a massive hit from Amazon as well? I think yes, but I think it's uh, it's going to be a war. Yeah, because Walmart yeah, is Walmart's a, a juggernaut. Walmart's what, a juggernaut, and Walmart has the political side in their in their pocket. Mm, remember, mm, remember, right. Walmart employs a lot of everyday Americans. I think it's one of the largest employers yeah. in America. Oh yeah. Don't think for a second if they start to get taken down that those those unions and stuff are going to try to pass laws to make it more people. fair, right? Yeah. 
to take down. Uh, That'd be, that's an interesting one. I was just thinking because, you know, everybody's buying everything online and where do you buy it? Amazon. You know, that's where you go. I, I tell you what, dude, what keeps these stores in, uh, you know, even in business is that shipping isn't instant, but the day it becomes almost instant, which is coming, mm-hmm. we're getting close to the point where well, you'll order something. And we know who's leading the way in that. Yeah, Amazon. Amazon. Amazon's yeah. leading the way in that right now. I mean, it still trips me out the same day now. I mean, I know. they'll we're probably right. be the first with 3D printers and they'll just like give them to people. Oh, That's yeah. the thing. It's crazy. Imagine if they have 3D printers that are, you know, located in, you know, most major areas. Yeah. You order a product, it prints it and brings it over to you. Mm-hmm. So you have it within an hour. That's crazy. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what we're that, that's what we're looking at. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good luck, Costco, is what we're saying. Because uh, I love you, you know, but that's that's a tough well, uh, battle. What we see is all all the all the tech companies really are dominating, right? Your Amazon, your Google's, your Facebook, your you know, all these uh all these tech type companies are getting their hands in all the other markets because yeah. they have so much control, power, and money, dude. Yeah. They're making so much That's oh, money. And do you see them? They're all in the entertainment business now. You yeah. know, they're all like creating like unique content shows and they're buying up all these producers from Hollywood. I mean, they're taking over dude, Hollywood. YouTube is making its own shows now. Yeah. Netflix has been doing it for a while. Amazon's been doing it for a while. They are going to destroy all the old dogs, mainly because the old dogs are Take too long to change yeah. or to see what's coming. Right. That's what's crazy about tech, man. So fast. Like a lot of these businesses, they're just not they're not prepared for that. What do you think's gonna what do you, how do you think what's gonna impact fitness with these companies? <laughs> well, well, they're gonna try and own everything. Well, you uh, haven't they got into the bodybuilding arena, didn't they? Yeah, no, they you see you there you see um The Rock right now with his seven productions dipping into uh, Olympia and you got Amazon who's uh, partnered with them what two years ago and they've been doing the the streaming and they have all the supplements on there I mean yeah for sure I are we will compete with them in a, in a sense right I definitely think where where you'll still be able to find right that's the big piece like they're gonna Costco Amazon fucking all these companies we're talking about are gonna take a big chunk of the pie like they really are yeah they'll still be you know, a s- small slices of the pie that people will still want this personal connection. They'll still want this, like, you know, uh, obscure, different, unique, uh, you know, and what, what companies like they, I, like Costco and, and Amazon, I don't feel like they connect with people individually as well as some of your companies that are mm-hmm. coming up now. And this, is goes back to the whole uh, Gary V topic that we had the other day, like something mm-hmm. that I think he's an example of what companies will have to do in the future, like that are that are will become powerhouses. You'll really have to yeah. represent your brand because now with the ability to connect to everyone so easily, I think everyone's going to demand that. Like, yeah. or most people are going to want that. Like, some people are going to shop at these places because it's more it's more affordable. Because the three C's will be even more tribal, right? Because yeah. then you have a representative from you know the company that's very visible. You know, you either like them, you don't like them. It's like like very political. Yeah. Like, it's going to be interesting. I think the, I think the more for immediate uh, in the more immediate sense, I think uh, you're going to see um, a lot of investment go into certifications or courses or classes or whatever that go into turning, helping trainers become online coaches. Because, you know, you talked about how it was growing before Adam. Now it's becoming really big. Mm-hmm. And I, I see that being an opportunity for trainers, a big opportunity. Oh yeah. There's lots of opportunities. And, but I also see companies, certifications and stuff looking at it going, this is the next big, because I could see the value in it. I could see the value in only paying a hundred dollars or $200 a mm-hmm. month which is what a lot of these online coaches will charge, these run-of-the-mill ones, for someone to just, you can text them your nutrition. And yeah, or you li- live this. Skype your workout or yeah. you know, whatever it is. So. I don't even, I mean, even besides the live Skype, just just texting some person. Oh, yeah. Just having that, somebody. Yeah, that helps you with your coaching mm-hmm. on, a, you know, on a daily basis and maybe putting parameters on it, like you're limited to four messages a day or whatever. Yeah, they've already mastered that with uh, therapy. I mean, there's there's people on there now that like will text and communicate back and forth, licensed therapists that, you know, it's like a whole big business, you I'm, know? <clears throat> have, you, have either one of you checked up on our, our buddies that were building that app that connects the physical therapist, doctors, uh, I haven't Craig? in a long time. Yeah, I know. I've been I've been I'll, curious to I'll, see how they're yeah, doing. Yeah, I wonder how, the, how they're doing with that business. Training slate. Yeah, training slate. That's right. It's been like two years since we, yeah. we looked at them 
them and seeing what they were up to. I mean, I really liked the direction they were going. I mean, Loved I, def- it. Yeah. I definitely think that I'm surprised that like NASM hasn't come up with a online coaching program. Well, it's only a matter of look time. in their direction because yeah, that 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 was definitely a good model to kind of go with. Like, well, I, I think it would fit well with NASM. The closer we get to the train the trainer, the more it's you know becoming clear that that probably should be a big part of what we even talk about with mm-hmm. the people we're coaching. Yeah, because as we're learning and mastering this kind of world. I mean, it's this is where the opportunity is. This is where the growth is, mm-hmm. and uh, and there's there's definitely the same there's similar skills that you need to be an effective, good trainer in person that you need online. But there's also a lot of other things that you you would have to learn completely, you know, new doing it online than you would have to do. Well, not if we do our job really well, which is I mean, and that's why it's still we're not there yet. I feel like every day we're a little bit closer, which is I feel like. You could take, I mean, I feel confident that I could take somebody who has no training background whatsoever, right? And if we drop them in some sort of a certification process, which basically told them the basic needs that they have, but mo- most of the training would be centered around how to navigate through the stuff that we already currently have. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I know Taylor's talking to a company right now that could build a, a really uh, robust like search engine within our website and we're still putting out videos that we know that are necessary for this. But uh, eventually I could see just anybody being able to go like, okay, like name an issue that you could be dealing with, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Whether it be an ache, a pain, a, a personal goal, a challenge, like a nutritional question. Like, right. you know, we've almost done a video blog or a whole podcast episode on damn near everything that we've we've ever encountered over 20 years. And just use those tools to coach. Yeah, oh, just wireframe it, yeah, so it all makes sense. Yeah, because if this, then that, right? And and we definitely have all the content that's there to to really, like, fill in a lot of well, those holes for people. There's still the benefit, right? There's always the benefit of having a person that you can work with. Which well, is there's why. a huge benefit to that yeah. still. I mean, you can't, let's be honest, as much as we're heading this direction and we're going to provide this service for people in the future, there still will be... It's always People, best to, if you work with someone who's good. Well, that's the best. There's also there's there's still like, you know, and and I and I already noticed this right now with like when we released Maps Prime Pro, you know, all my clients have it uh, that I ever trained. You know, that was like I told all of them because most you know clients were fifty plus years old. And I'm like, you have to have this program as a resource. Yeah. But I still find that all of them reached out to me well, for help and guidance on it. Because, that, and that was one of the most like like coached programs right so you really you really need somebody to be able to cue um i mean that just will make maximize it you don't need it i shouldn't say but you definitely would benefit from somebody looking at you doing these because i mean you're so unfamiliar well the intent is so important the intent like because and the average person doesn't understand that uh you know the body is going to go through its its trained pathway already right so if you show a video or a demo the person who gets down to do that movement right on the ground, or if it's an exercise, they're watching the video. They're moving. They're doing. It. Their body's going to take the take the path and pattern that they've they've trained it for for many many years. It doesn't necessarily mean it's the right or the healthy path for their body. And so in their mind, they think they're performing the movement or the exercise correctly because mm-hmm. they're moving through whatever range of motion and they're they think they're mirroring the movement. But what they don't realize is that they've created such poor patterns. That you know they, they and they don't know how to correct it. So the intent of the movement is so important. That's where they're really the the hands on stuff. Mm-hmm. Like so, I think the online coaching world will definitely address a majority. Like a lot most a lot of the people that are already training and exercising, they're just seeking more yeah, and better they just information. Need to optimize like, yeah, what they're so, doing. So here's an idea that I had uh, for some technology. I know it doesn't exist, but I'm sure it will. And if it doesn't, then I hope someone's listening who can create something like this. But I had met a, a little while ago with a representative from a company that was creating this clothing that you would wear and it would signal you when your posture went out. So it would bzz, bzz, and it would you always constantly remind you to put yourself in good posture, which I thought was like, eh, whatever, not that great of an idea. It's not going to really change anything because someone can force themselves into what looks like good posture, but in, in reality also be activating muscles in a bad recruitment pattern. And you guys know as well as I do, that's not necessarily going to help. But I thought uh, while I was talking to her, a exercise clothing that uh, picked up and it could be easy. It, this wouldn't take. This wouldn't be difficult to do. I don't think because the technology exists. It would pick up when muscles are firing with how much intensity. Mm-hmm. You put these pants on. You put on the shirt. Whatever. 
Then you do your movement and your squat, and it maps out your recruitment Athos. pattern. Does it map out your recruitment pattern? Mm-hmm. It does. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it gives you the intensity of like, yeah, how much force you produced. But does it show you per muscle? Like, here's what your muscle patterning mm-hmm. looks like for this exercise. Do these correctional I exercises? That, yeah, I don't know if it's that sophisticated, but I'm sure they could, um, you know, so, build so a model. Do you like guys that. see where I'm going yeah, with that? Yeah, like yeah, it would yeah. show. No, I think cool. I think stuff like that kind of exists already. Yeah, Does it? They're, yeah, they're, they're trying to figure that out. Yeah, for sure. Because I could see how. Now here's the thing. That with, would be such an now, amazing here's tool. Here's the thing with that. Yeah, now that, have to wear. that reminds me now heading towards like our buddy Craig's whole idea and concept of you know sometimes too much information is is overwhelming for yeah. the average consumer Overload. that yeah that so i think that's oh no a, this would not be for, this sounds like such a cool product for this, us yes for yeah. as a trainer or coaches like coaches. coaching an athlete that's right, it I, right. I see it being for coaches or correctional exercise specialists when they're helping yeah. someone correct and right. balance athletes can, are already evolving to the next level i don't know if you guys have noticed yeah. with all this technology boom but it's because of that fact like it's these coaches that are that are taking all this data and they're actually like tweaking and like doing these micro tweaks to like their habits and like what they're focusing on practicing on constantly so it's mm. it's it's a little bit it's it's a lot more specific now like they've kind of figured out like smarter ways to to organize like the off season and this and that and what to focus on but um yeah as far as your average person that's just like, whoosh, like yeah way over the head well it's like like i said it's like what i think craig is struggling with right now i think it, it's a brilliant idea and concept the direction that he was going with uh metron but i mean fuck dude it's so that's so that's cool for you you know that's not cool for the 80 percent of the people out there that you, just um, over, you can overwhelm people yeah it's, just, it's too much if it, you know we we've already figured it out a long time ago that you know if, it, if a three-year-old can't you know use it and a five-year-old can't figure it out like it's yeah you know it's too much for the average the average consumer they don't want they don't want all that overload how many times and we know this how many times have you been trying to teach a client and i know we've all experienced this lots of times where you're trying to break the science down to someone, and they're like, I, I, I don't even want to know. Just tell me what to do. Just tell my me what, elbow go. Just tell yeah. me what to do. Yeah. Just tell me what to do. Right. How many times have you had that? Like, I've had that hundreds of times <laughs> where know. clients like don't want to hear the science. They're like, I don't care. Like, they that's just why show I pay. Up and they want to be, I'm autopilot. Yeah. Just move me. And they're like, I yeah. pay you for that. And yeah. those people are making the active choice to at least hire a professional to help them out with it. How many other people are like, don't want the science, and then they don't even want to do the work oh, or God. spend the money? So when you start thinking about it like that. You know, you, you think of products that are, you know, sound really cool, the idea and the concept of them as as training professionals, but as an average consumer, I mm-hmm. think it's just like, it's white noise, you know? What about like mindfulness tools and technology? Hmm. Well, here's the funny part about that. Like, so I think that's really interesting. And that's a lot of stuff that... Because uh, you're already seeing kind of an explosion in... in- you know, yeah, it was stuff. on Shark Tank. Some lady had some app that was just all about being mindful and had different coaches. Oh, yeah, we like, were together. Okay, yeah, that's yeah, right. it was, we saw it, that. It was like the meditation app or whatever. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I could see a lot, uh, only because it's becoming a trend, a trendy thing. Wow. So the, usually the technology- It's fighting fire with fire, kind of like, you know, yeah. we, we talked about with, you know, the, the no company and, and how they approached, you know, food products mm-hmm. and stuff, how they're trying to make like junk food, but healthier junk food. I, th- I think it'll be a small trend. And I think it'll be a small trim because, it, uh, like Justin just said, it's fighting fire with fire. Like you said, it's it's what's trending right now. And so I think you could pretty much throw anything in that direction and it's going to do okay. But I think that will start to kind of get uh, shaken out after a while because people will realize that, okay, if the whole idea of being more mindful, more present, and disconnecting from tech, what am I doing using tech to help me do that? Yeah. Like it's kind of like the the easy answer is like just, just put, put your it, phone away, put it all yeah, away, yeah. walk away from it, and you'll be more present, yeah. more mindful, and more connected. Meditate, yeah, on right, your own. right. Or just like, like don't think anything, right. Yeah. So, and I think when people really start to put that into practice and really make those, and you know what, at first you're probably right. A lot of people it will do well because. A lot of people won't be able to make that initial connection like, oh, this is all I'm really doing is fucking... Yeah, it's train wheels. Right, exactly. It's really, really basic. And so maybe at first we see uh, these companies do really well, but eventually I think stuff... I think businesses like float tanks, you know, uh, massage places and, you know, mindfulness type facilities where like Mm -hmm. cell phones aren't allowed and there's Mm -hmm. no tech there and it's just getting... Back to nature, I, th- I think, or th- even clubs. Like I know there's there's certain like bars and like where they right. they they've, they have like just chairs. They don't even have TVs now. Like they've taken like all like electronic stuff out. Like there's a, this is like 
becoming kind of a trend now. See, like, I could see that, which I is could, really cool. It's I like could. you know, you're going to an actual pub because uh, my favorite part when I when I actually went to Ireland, um, you know, more than it's just like a beautiful place, was that uh, going into the pubs. It's like you go in there, there's nothing. Like you're there, you're having a pint, and everybody's like has like great stories yeah. and you're just like sitting there like listening to people and it's fucking awesome you know but like you don't get that kind of interaction anymore it's, it's like and i think people like they crave that on a, on a subliminal level you know we're not getting that anymore mm. so well i definitely i know i think it's a i think it's an excellent point i mean i can re, i can recall times of walking up to a, a bar or a pub and sitting at the bar and then just like staring at the tv because you don't know anybody at first mm -hmm. but with the whole purpose of like going something like that is to be social and do that but yeah here i am st sitting at a bar having a beer staring I, at a television i've never gone to a bar by myself have you guys done that i have yeah i've never done that is that <laughs> I'll weird? drink alone I, well i used I to feel have like a, it would be weird i had a place downtown where this I was guy killing time this guy used to uh he used to do flair and so i would he used go to do what you know they call it flair where they do the where they you know flip the drinks and do a oh, movie, okay. like, like a, a cocktail the yeah. movie with yeah, the, yeah 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 so and they, he and he was like really really good like, oh sweet yeah like super entertaining like I I wouldn't go there at a certain time to get there before everybody showed up just to watch him and so I'd go down there sometimes and just me or me and a buddy and we'd have a beer and and just watch him do his stuff and I got to know who know him pretty well and and then eventually the uh, owner actually got rid of him. Yeah, it was pretty, you know, and I, I think it had something to do with like he was getting too much of the attention from, and it was pulling from all the other days and all the other people. And so uh, I think he got rid of him because for that reason. too good. Was, yeah, again, like, really, get out of here. really yeah. poor. Stupid business. Yeah, I, yeah right. I, I, I love business owners that do that. Silly, right? I mean, I, I, I mean, there, I was a guy who literally came there for that, for that reason. What an idiot. And you don't think about that. You're thinking about how it's hurting your other days, but you're not thinking about how many people how are How you drawn. can get the other days that go up. Right, right. It's pretty Dumbass. funny, right? Yeah. Anyway, go to YouTube. Subscribe to Mind Pump TV because I told you so. Also, mindpumpmedia.com, 30 days of coaching. It's available for free. And it's for everybody. Everyone. Thank you for listening to Mind Pump. If your goal is to build and shape your body, dramatically improve your health and energy, and maximize your overall performance, check out our discounted RGB Super Bundle at mindpumpmedia.com. The RGB Super Bundle includes MAPS Anabolic, MAPS Performance, and MAPS Aesthetic. Nine months of phased expert exercise programming designed by Sal, Adam, and Justin to systematically transform the way your body looks, feels, and performs. With detailed workout blueprints and over 200 videos, the RGB Super Bundle is like having Sal, Adam, and Justin as your own personal trainers, but at a fraction of the price. The RGB Super Bundle has a full 30-day money-back guarantee, and you can get it now plus other valuable free resources at mindpumpmedia.com. If you enjoy this show, please share the love by leaving us a five-star rating and review on iTunes and by introducing Mind Pump to your friends and family. We thank you for your support, and until next time, this is Mind Pump.